So banks across the country fear uncertainty in the wake of the SVB collapse. But community banks are painting a different picture, at least in North Dakota. The Bank of North Dakota is the only government-owned general service bank in the United States. And our next guest says its success should be noted. Mr. Wonderful is here with the insight. Kevin O'Leary, Leary, chairman of O'Leary Ventures, joins us now. Kevin, glad to have you. Um, I've seen you say this. You know, I don't think this is disconnected. I think I saw you say, I would not do business in California. Now I hear you saying, look what's happening in North Dakota. It's a success. Explain. Yes, there are states that are go-to states and no-go states. A bad policy, high taxes in New York, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and of course, California, they're not really in business. The regulatory environment is so unstable there. That's when you start to look at new places to invest capital. And that's when I stumbled into North Dakota. Very pro-business, a remarkable economy, fastest growing GDP per capita, third largest oil and energy producer in America, and a state with its own sovereign bank set up in 1919. Who knew? Hmm. An incredible situation there. And so why you care about that is regional banks were set up decades ago, 40, 50, 60 years ago, to take care of the local economy. In the case of North Dakota, farmers there were unhappy with the interest rates being charged in Minnesota. So what they did is they set up their own bank. They got their own right. charter. It's only one. So, and wow, does that work. So, okay, Kevin, I love what you have said so far, but I'm having trouble reconciling what you just said with something I've heard you say in several locations recently, including here on the Fox News Network and talking to Tucker. So let's listen to what you told Tucker and then come back and you and I discuss it. Many of these regional banks were founded 40, 50 years ago. It was a different economy, a different world. There was no digital age at all. And people needed the touch point of a bank in their community. Obviously, that's completely changed because 99% of banking today is done online. There's a whole generation of people post-pandemic who have never been in a branch in a regional bank or any bank, for that matter. And so the question becomes now, and the narrative is quickly looking at this because of all these failures, what do we need tiny regional banks for in the first place? So, Kevin, I like what you had to say about no-go and pro-business and anti-business states. You're talking about the laboratories of democracy. Why not the same thing for banks? We need small regional banks to have that connection to a community like you just pointed out in North Dakota. Well, I have no problem with that statement. If you think and you have a state, let's take California first. If you believe you need regional banks in California to support the uniqueness of its economy, which is supposedly tech-oriented, why do I, as a farmer in Florida, have to bail you out when you blow up your bank like the Silicon Valley Bank? I don't want to own that. The state should eat that. Okay. If you want to have okay. tiny regional banks in a state, let the state maintain can I, those. Can I interrupt? Just like they do in North Dakota. I like that. I like that statement. So I'm asking you this. Are you adopting an absolute no bailout proposition, a no bailout principle? Or are you arguing the same as Janet Yellen? We bail out the big banks, but not the small banks. There's a too big to fail concept around money center banks. There's an imputed bailout in there, even though we know the max is 250,000. No one's going to let a money center bank go to zero. And the whole economy knows that. The whole world knows that. I couldn't care less what happens to First Republic or Silicon Valley Bank or Signature Bank. They can go to zero because they're poorly managed. If you run a bank with idiots, it's going to go to zero. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah. doesn't change the American economy in any way. However, it's fair because we are a democracy. If you wish to support tiny regional banks in your state, you eat them. You own it. And they figured that out. They're responsible in North Dakota. The Bank of North Dakota does not compete with the regional yeah. banks. It yeah. supports them. I want to do and this. if you want to do that, go ahead. I don't want to take I want to have this either. deeper conversation with you. I agree. Let idiots pay for their decisions. But that should apply to the big guys as well as the small guys. And if we don't apply that principle universally, we are effectively killing the little guys and shoving all the customers to the big guys. I'm on Fox and Friends this morning, and so are you, and so our time is tight. But I would love to have that conversation with you deeper and longer in the future, Kevin O'Leary. Absolutely. All Great right. speaking with you. Thanks, Kevin.